Uh, joining me now is Carol Roth. She is a business strategist and New York Times bestselling author of The Entrepreneur Equation. Welcome. Glad Paris, to have you this morning. Great to see you. All right. First of all, what is effective PR? Effective PR is anything that gets the word out about you that you're not paying for an advertisement. So we used to think PR as hiring a PR firm and they're putting out a press release, but it really has changed. Just like you said, with social networks, with the advent of blogs, with so much information out there, you really have the opportunity to take a hold of that yourself and control the message in the way that you want to do it. But like you said, there are ways to do it well and there are ways to do it not so well. And so it's really important to get a handle on how to communicate your message out there in the market. All right. What are we doing wrong? <laughs> I think a lot of times we are not engaging with the other party, that we are really just trying to put out advertising in the same old way that we did it previously. Hey, you know, buy 10, get one free, or, you know, just wait, there's more, or buy some Ginsu knives. Mm -hmm. And people don't want to hear that anymore. They want to be engaged with, they want to be, have a dialogue because they're doing business with businesses that they know, they like, they trust, but there's so many messages coming at them that it's hard to really build up that trust relationship just on a first one on one glance. You know, I was reading recently, Carol, that loyalty is at an all-time high for customers because uh, for those people who have lost jobs and who are really trying to watch their budgets, they don't have the gas money to drive all over town to get the different deal and to take this coupon there or whatever. They would rather build up points and build up a relationship. You know, they have a lot of reward cards at places now. Yeah. And go to the same one, two, or three places close to them that they're familiar with. And that puts the onus then on those business owners to have a real relationship and connection with those people. So you're right, a blanket, buy more, get more, doesn't work anymore. It's, hi Sally, how are you? It is. It's, it's, it's making the customer feel important because you don't want to reward that behavior, Harris. You don't want to say, we're going to bribe you to be our customer because then somebody else comes out along with a better program instead of buy one, get one free. It's, you know, buy one, get two free. And then you're back to price competition. So if you really want to build up that loyalty, you have to make customers feel cared for and important. All right. Five ways to get low or no cost advertising and PR. Let's put those up on the screen. One is write informative articles. Where... How and how many? <laughs> as much as you have time for, it's all about being an expert. And a lot of business owners that I talk to actually say, well, I'm not an expert. Say, well, what do you do? I own a nursery. Are you giving gardening tips to your customers? Absolutely. Well, then you're an expert on gardening tips. So take those same tips that you're giving your customer in your store and put it out in the form of an article. There are so many outlets now from online news sources to blogs to people who have newsletters who are dying for content. So to the extent that you can put these into an article, position yourself as an expert, it's a great way to get free, free PR and also to show that you are the one that knows everything. I mean, who do you want to hire? The person who wrote the book or the person who read the book. You want to well, hire the one, you, know, you want to hire the person who's the expert at the end of the day. And so it's so critical to do that and it exposes your business to so many other people and it also gives you an opportunity to connect with your own customers. Mm -hmm. Hey, guess what? I was just featured on this blog and by the way, if you like these tips, send them along to your friends and then you get that um, viral effect of the PR by showing everybody that you have an expertise. All right, media source lists. That's yes. the second thing on the, on the list. Let's put that back up on the screen here. Yeah, this is one of the hidden gems. There are actually totally free email lists that you can sign up for where journalists and other media sources put out queries. So hmm. some of my favorites are reporter connection, pitch rate, Oh. Radio guest list and Harrow help a reporter out, and you sign up. <laughs> you sign up for these online, and every day they deliver to your inbox opportunities, and you figure out the ones that match up with your expertise. And when they match up with your expertise, you can then pitch and become a source. And a lot of people don't even realize that these exist, and they're entirely free for you to join. I love that. Okay, social media. Yeah, so we talked a little bit about social media before. It is a great way for you to engage and build up that trust relationship with potential what customers. What are the pitfalls, though? Because, you know, a lot of people have a lot of stuff on their Facebook pages. I always tell people, if you are in business, you need to take down your personal stuff. I'm not even saying have a separate page. Take it down. 
I, because somebody will find it if it's something that's that's particular to you and it's private. Take it off the internet. I, I completely agree. There, there's a huge debate about this. Some people say, oh, well, there's this blurry line between personal and professional. No. If you're out there representing a business, you're out there representing a business. And remember, you have to think about it as a way of broadcasting. What do you want your audience to know? It's not about being in therapy, right? If you want therapy, yeah. go talk to a psychiatrist. If you want to put out a broadcast message, think about what your end user really wants to hear at the end of the day. So it's really critical to keep the message consistent and to continue to do it over and over again. And back to what we're talking about before, don't shout advertisements, but engage with the customer. One really cool thing that you could do, let's say that you have a restaurant, is give your customers a shout out on your Facebook page or on Twitter. So if you have somebody who patronizes your restaurant, who came in for a birthday, wish them a happy birthday. Then they oh, say, oh, like you know that. what? Not only does this restaurant care about me, but they're going to tell other friends, look, that restaurant, you know, just wished me a happy birthday. Really and, and then they actually will come and tell their friends to come back and visit your Facebook page. And it's a way to engage. So you have to use these tools, but think about them in a different way than you would from an advertising perspective, really think about engaging those customers, make them feel cared about, make them feel important, and use it to your advantage. All right, two more things on the list here. Barter for services or space and give to get. Are, are those two similar? They're similar, but a little bit different. I think bartering is something that a lot of folks don't think about. If you have a product or service that is in demand, well, why not reach out to whether it's a PR professional, an advertising and marketing services company, or even a magazine that may have some advertising space that's going unused and say, hey, you know, we've got, you know, we're a restaurant. We'll give you free pizza for the month in exchange for the space or in exchange for your PR services. And in this economy, there are a lot of needs and a lot of companies have bandwidth. So be creative and think outside of the box. And then on the give to get front, you know, there are so many charity events, school events, ah. um, industry conventions and functions, and they all need swag and they all need services and products for their events. Mm -hmm. So it's a great way for you to give back, but at the same time create That's awareness for your product or your service. And again, these are all free and no and low cost ways to do this, but you have to execute. It's one thing to have the idea, Harris, but you have to put in the work.